Hi friends and crafters, I'm here today with a tutorial on this really cute retro foam memory box. Uh, what I uh, showed you that I had created. This is so fun to give as a gift or have on your, I messed it up right there, <laughs> uh, to have on your desk with either addresses or telephone numbers and pictures, all kinds of things that you can put in this. It's super, super cute and adorable. And I'm gonna teach you how to make that today. So what I used are several dies from Scrap Diva Designs, and they can be purchased at www.scrapdivadesigns.com. If you use Carol 10 at checkout, you get 10% off your entire order. Free ship will give free ship 75 will give you free shipping on $75 or more. So whichever code works for you. So let me go ahead and show you Scrap Diva Designs dies that I used. I did this one right here, which is the retro foam. And I will show what dies I used as we go along. And I also used the retro foam shaker. So I'll show you that as we go along in the tutorial. I also used the scalloped bow die. This is a really nice die. It comes in two sizes. And I used a small one for this project. So that's the Scrap Diva Designs dies that I used. I used this for my stash. Um, but you could use, I just went through some of my things. You could use this. You could use this. And you could use this. So check your nesting dies because there's small pieces that can be used in this project. I also had this die from AliExpress that I used. And I also have the Hello that was from AliExpress that I used in this project. So let's get started with making the box. So what you're going to need is 110 pound cardstock for your base. And you're gonna to need to cut two, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And you will need to cut one uh, let's see three and a quarter by eight and a quarter All right, so I'm going to put this down a little bit so you can see a little bit better and we're going to go do some scoring on this uh, Lengthy piece right here So we're going to score at a quarter inch on either side so let's see a quarter and a quarter so that's one quarter and three. And then you're going to turn it lengthwise and you're gonna score it at two and three quarters and at five and a half. All right, that's for that piece. And we're gonna put the box together. So you're gonna fold up on your score lines and I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, and then you're gonna fold on the, I think I've got that wrong. Yeah, I do. There we go. I made up. I, uh, extra score line by mistake when I was preparing. So you fold on the five and a half and the two and three quarters. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to cut to the score line on either side and then do a little notch on both sides. Let's see if we get this correctly. Yeah. And do the same on the other side. Cut up to the score line and then notch it. Okay. 
So now you have something that looks like that. So then you're going to fold it up. I fold the sides in first and then the bottom up. And I place my glue. And then you're going to take your two, two and three quarter by two and three quarter pieces. And you're going to lay them on top of that and line it up nice. Once you get it straight, you can turn it over. And you can use sticky tape for this, but I find the glue holds better for me. And I get a good grip here. And I'm going to check it. I'm a little bit off. I'm just try struggling to try to show this on camera. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, here we go. Make sure those are nice and smooth. All right, now I'm going to put the top on this portion and make sure that the bottom is over the sides. like this Get it right on top all right going better this time <laughs> flip it over and make sure those edges are down all right so now we have our base all right then you're going to cut nine three and a quarter by three inch and this is not 110 pound this is regular cardstock the cardstock you get from michael's or the georgia pacific uh, that you get from uh, walmart something like that that's all you need for these inserts and what we're making is these little uh, pockets inside this foam all right, and let me get this out of the way here. So then we're going to take our scoreboard and we are going to put them on the three and a quarter lengthwise, and we're going to score at a quarter and at three. And then we're going to turn it and we're going to score at two and three quarters for all nine of these inserts. All right. So then we're going to be putting our pockets in. So what you want to do is fold on your score lines and you're going to fold it to the front. All right. And then we're going to snip a little corner sideways and then we're going to clip to the center so that you have something that looks like that just like that and we are going to start inserting this in the box so when you get your box you don't want to struggle with these uh, folded over pieces right here so you want to put start putting your pockets in where they're not going to butt up against these on the sides because that will you'll struggle with that so i hope you can see don't point your box um, this way because you'll hit these and it will uh, be a struggle to put these in Make sure you have the smooth sides. So this is to the back and the front. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some glue on these. And I'm not going to put all 10 in here. I'm going to show you a couple. 
and then we're going to move on for time purposes. So you got your your quarter inch there. So you're going to have the smooth side here. So we're going to put it right down and we're going to put that bottom edge up against the front. And then we're going to move and push this as far as it will go to the quarter inch. And we're going to go ahead and make sure our glue sticks. Once you get the sides, then go down to the bottom to get that bottom piece to stick. So let me show you another one. We're going to fold the, the uh, score lines to the front and then we're going to snip the bottom. We're going to do it to the corner and then snip this off. So you have something that looks like that. Angle it and snip that off. Okay, so we're ready to put in the second one. Make sure everything is to the front. Apply your glue or sticky tape. And then we're going to take this and I like to, when I put this in, try to do the bottom first to bump it up against the first one and then take the quarter inch sides and bump it up to as far as you can get it to that. And then go ahead and make sure you get a good stick. So I'm going to show you one more and then we'll move on. It'd be too boring to watch me do 10. <laughs> So we're going to score and score, fold the score lines again all to the front, snip angle and snip this off, angle and snip off. And now we're going to apply glue again. All right. Once more, we're going to take the bottom and stick that in first and butt it up against the last one we just put in. And then we take the sides and do the same thing. Butt it up the last one. it's coming together all right we're going to put that aside and I'm going to bring this one in this is completed all right and the last thing you want to do with your cutter is you want to cut two designer papers at two and three quarters and two and three quarters we will need this later to complete our project so now we're going to make the inserts and I have created my inserts i'm going to show you how to do a couple and then we will move on so you put each of these in a slot so i have two to show you how to do so i'm going to tell you about the die first so you're going to use the retro shaker die and uh, this one right here, and you're going to cut 10 of them, which is what I have here. You're gonna cut 10 of them in 110 pound cardstock, okay? And then you're going to cut two for each uh, telephone. And when you cut these, you're going to have to cut it on the designer paper side one time because the phones are not the same front and back so you'll need to cut one with the designer paper that way and one with the designer paper this way I have double-sided designer paper um, so that's why you see this but to have the the correct uh, sides on the paper that's what you need to do one this way and one this way 
because the telephone is not the same on both sides. So to create this right here, you're going to need your cutter. And I'm gonna get mine out here. And you're going to take your 110 pound cardstock. And let me see if I can get close enough in here. I'm gonna push this back as far as I can. Okay, so you're going to line up this piece right here. See where I'm pointing to your cutter. You're going to line it up to where you you would uh, have the cut. So I'm going to go right there and cut that portion off of the phone. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to line this piece up again. And I have a little uh, string in mine in this cutter. This is a Fiskars. And we're going to cut that piece off of the foam. All right. Uh, so you get something like that. So we're going to do it again with this piece. We're going to line it up. Nice and straight. Make sure it's flat on the bottom. And go right up. And I didn't press too hard because I wasn't close enough. So I'm just going to take my scissors and slice this off. I went a little over too much. That's the first time I did it. Two of all these I done. <laughs> all right. And flip this over. And line it up. And there you go. Now we are ready to put the designer paper on. And that's easy, I'll show you how to do that. So we gotta get the front of the phone. This is the front side. And this is the front side. See how that just goes right on there like that. Um, and I'll show you how it doesn't match. This is for the back. And you can see it's, it's off. See how it's off. That's why you have to cut the paper backwards. So we're going to go ahead and put some glue on this. And just line this up on here. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut this off. This is easier. You can put your scissors right up against that 110 pound cardstock and go right down. You get a nice straight cut. All right, so that you have something like that. And now we are going to put the back on. I'm going to do the same thing. And to get it straight, just put your uh, fingers in here and make sure that it's straight and it lines up perfectly. So that is the back of the telephone. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go right down and cut these sides off. I guess you could, you could probably do this before. You could cut your phones if you wanted to with your paper cutter, but I did it that way. All right, I'll do one more to show you. And then I'll show you about the things to put on there. All right, so here we go. We got the front, yep. The uh, Department of Natural Resources is burning across the street from our house. We have uh, sea turtles and they are burning the underbrush so the sea turtles can come up and lay their eggs. And boy, when you have asthma and sinus, whew, 
So if I'm sniffling and coarse and stuff like that, I'm sorry. All right, you gotta cut that off. You gotta cut this one off. And then we're gonna put the back on. So you're gonna do this 10 times to fill your 10 pockets. See how I just put my finger in there and that lined up really nice. So let's, let's get this smoothed down. All right. All right. So let me explain to you now what I do to decorate these. So you're going to need the uh, shaker die and this is the one that cuts out the bottom different well it cuts out the outline on the phone okay so what I did was I just cut off the receiver as you can see right here with gold and it'll cut this right here so I save this and use it and then this is what you're going to put on the front Okay, so you're going to use both pieces in the retro foam shaker. And I just cut these off right at the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to put some glue on the back. Just trace the outline. Try not to get too much glue because then it gets on the uh, the gold. And then you're going to take it and you're going to put it on the front. Just like that. I'm going to get a little bit, bit of glue, but I'll get that after the tutorial is done. And then you take the foam, uh, this foam portion. Put some glue on the back of that. And you're going to put it right here. All right. And I'll do it for this one so you can see it again. So I cut 10 of these. And all you have to do is like snip this off. Make sure it's nice and square. Snip. And use your dies to create your embellishments. That's fun. All right, we're going to stick this on here. And then flip this over and we'll put this telephone piece on it. All right. Okay, now you are going to need, oh, let me see right here. Okay, these are what I created. And let me go ahead and show you. So look through your nesting dies. I use these pieces right here to create mine. You can see I created the with the smaller one, the white. Oh, I've got a bigger one. And this one right here. Whatever will fit inside your box. You see, I still have plenty of room. I could have used a little bit see right here I had plenty of room I could have used a little bit bigger die but this is what worked for me what I like so check your nesting dies you don't have to have that particular set so what you're going to do is uh, you assemble them and how I assembled mine was I did 
110 pound cardstock designer paper and 110 pound cardstock so it's pretty uh, stiff we're just going to take that and attach it to this portion put it in the in the middle and flip it over and put on the back right on top so that it matches. Okay, we're gonna flip it over and that's fine. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in the box so it go ahead and dry. And we're gonna do this one. And then we're going to get ready to do our front pieces. get it in the center here flip it over and put the second one so you have lots of room to put pictures addresses telephone numbers uh, quotes for the day baby Bible verses whatever you want to put in this and it's a great gift okay so now we're going to go ahead and work on the front and back of the box so what you need to do is you're going to need to cut again two um, 110 pound cardstock of the uh, telephones these telephone pieces from the shaker all right you cut two of those and then you cut one reverse of your front and front and reverse for what is going to be on the inside and what I'm talking about is when you're looking at this right here you see that I did the backs of my phones so everything was finished off all right so that's what I'm talking about so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take one of these all right, you're also going to cut again from the retro foam one in gold, and that's going to give you this look right here. This right here, that little gold edge. So we're going to go ahead and glue this to the, this is the front that we're working on right now, the front piece of the retro foam memory box. Okay. I'll push this out of the side. And we're going to lay it on top. It'll, it'll get flatter as we go along because we've got this to put on the back. Let's see. No, that's not a back one. Back one. Yes. All right. This will make it lie flat now. All right, so this is the front piece of your telephone. All right, now you can see I have some glue. Hang on, I'm gonna fix this. I'm using my shirt. I know you can't see me doing this, but that's all right. Okay. Now, on the retro phone, you are going to use the stitched pieces. 
and you're going to cut one of this in designer paper and one in 110 pound cardstock because I liked it nice and thick. Also, with the receiver part of the phone, you're going to cut your designer paper and 110 pound cardstock and you're going to uh, attach those together. And now we're going to put it on top of here and see the nice uh, gold edging it gives you. top of there in the center and then we're going to do now I took some foam and you can decide if you want to do this or not it looks good with it it looks good without it I wanted some dimension uh, some of the phones that I did show you had a uh, four millimeter foam and I will show you this one right here had four millimeter foam and I did like that. I have um, two millimeter foam here today. This one here had no foam. So it's up to you uh, what you would like to do with that. So I have a two millimeter foam right here that I am going to put on this receiver before I attach it to the front base. Just center it. So I have uh, two millimeter foam, 110 pound cardstock, and designer paper. Once you get that nice and straight, you can go ahead and attach this to your foam front base. All right. Okay. Now I have that on there. Now we are going to work on the dial. So what I have here is just some regular card stock and some designer paper that I cut from the retro foam. That's this piece right here. So we're gonna put these two pieces together. And you're just gonna line them up. There's a heart on here that has a little groove on either side that matches this. It's the easiest way to put it together. Okay, so that's my bottom piece. And next, what we have is, uh, I have four millimeter foam here, and I cut, and I have a cuddle bug, and it cut it fine. Uh, I cut one of this on, four millimeter foam, and then I cut one on designer paper. What else I did was I took these that come with the retro foam and you cut uh, 12 of those. And I've already attached them because it would be too much to show me attaching that. So I'm going to uh, adhere this to the bottom. And the easiest way to line it up is look for the heart with the two notches on either side. So here is the notch and here's the notch on here. So we're just going to put it together like that. All right. And you could make this if you want to put a um, brad in the center of this. Uh, you would do that before you put the back on. Uh, if you want your dial to twist, but I, I don't. I'm good with it not twisting. Just for show. All right, so I'm going to attach this to the top of the 4 millimeter foam. And take the two grooves. And make sure that it's centered. All right. It's ready to go and then I have two millimeter foam for this little piece right here which you're going to cut out of the retro foam with designer paper and foam and you'll attach that and that's going to go into the center of the dial 
and you're just going to line up the holes and you will know it's in the center and you can see through it okay the next thing I'm going to do is attach it to my phone and I'm going to just make the heart with the two notches the center so right in the center of the phone okay Next, I got this uh, from my stash. It says, hello. It was from AliExpress. If I can find it, I will link it. There's also a hello in some cottage cuts on a telephone die, die that they sell. All right, and I'm going to cover. I'm going to put this in the middle and cover the hole so you can't see the hole with that L. Covers it perfectly. There you go. The next thing I'm going to do is I already made my bow from the Scrap Diva Scalloped Bow die. And I'm going to center that in the center of the receiver. And I'm going to pick it up so I can see it here. All right, just like that. And I forgot to do something. I was going to stick this under the, so I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut it this way in half to use the pieces. And I want to use this piece and I'm going to pick this up a little bit. Hopefully the glue isn't all stuck already. Not too bad, I guess. I'm going to stick it like this. All right, hang on. I'll just stick some more glue down in there. <laughs> Sometimes when you're doing a tutorial, you forget things. All right, so I want that to look like that. And then I'm gonna put this one on the bottom and we will stick some more glue down here. I just need it up a little bit. So you get to see the, the boo-boos I make sometimes. All right, so we want to put this like this. All right, woohoo, it worked. So let's put some glue on that. So you know what to do in case you forget it. And then you could put some glue over here, keep it down. All right, and I'll clean that up after we're off camera because this is getting long. And I'll just stick it there. Okay, and then I created three flowers with a Marvy punch, and I'm going to put the pink, plain pink one in the middle and the coordinating ones on either side okay and then whatever type of leaves you have i have this for my stash I'm going to put the leaves in here. I like to bend them up a little bit, give them a little character. Let's see here. All right, and one more. stick this in here as such so that is the front of your phone all right and then you're going to take your box and you're going to attach it right to the front so what I do is I take a whole bunch of glue
and we're going to press it on here, right in the middle. So we're going to press it on, and then we're going to put it flat to adjust and make sure that when you look down there, everything is straight, which mine is, yay. <laughs> okay. And then um, I forgot to show you this. It's difficult doing a tutorial. I have to tell you, I find them difficult because there's so much to it. But I had cut this. This is from the Retro Phone. And I cut one, the uh, front of the, yeah, this isn't right. This goes one front way to the gold and one uh, with the gold paper flipped so that I could cover both sides of the telephone cord. And I cut just a regular cardstock for the middle sandwich. And you're going to put these together, okay, like that. Make sure they're nice all in center. Okay, so I cut two. So I'm going to put one here. And ideally, this should be put on before you put the back uh, piece of your, uh, see right here, before you put that back piece on. Uh, it should ideally be put on at that time. So I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. It happens. So um, you have the also the two designer piece pa pieces of paper that you're going to attach right here. All right. And you're going to do your back piece. Let's see. This is the back. All right, so you're going to want to make this an official back. So the inside paper of both the front and the back is going to be like the front. But it's going to be like this. See, this is the actual front. But it's going to be like this because when you're looking through, you want all your, uh, your phones to line up. So this is the actual back. of the phone and you'll see what I mean when you start putting this together that there is definitely a back and a front and I did not put any embellishments on this I left it uh, plain on the back because I think I want to put you know um, handmade or something like that some kind of stamp or die that I have that says handmade because I'm giving these as gifts okay and then you just stick this whoops see here I go again and I should have stuck the <laughs> uh, I should have stuck the um phone cord in there but I want it to match so see when you get it on here and you look and you make sure that they're all lined up and they are Okay, so my next thing and last thing to do will be to attach these. And they'll these will just have to be this way. And I'm going to clean them up before I put them on there because I had glue on my fingers. But you get the idea. So you would put this one here and you're going to put the other one in the back and you're going to put uh, your designer paper on. And then you're done. <laughs> So here you have it, the memory retro phone box. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have fun making yours. And until next time, happy crafting.